want anything? Yes, thank you. Alan, end of the season, probably not the ending that we all wanted. No, obviously we were pushing for the playoffs, which is it was, it would have been some achievement for the the players if, if they got there. But we weren't far away, um, which is I think we can take a lot of positives for the season. Um, I think the boys deserve a lot of plaudits for the way they played, especially second half of the season, and obviously managing to finish sixth. How, I was going to say, how would you sum up the season overall? We started really slow, didn't we? Obviously, we got off to a bad start. Um, but I think probably the turning point was was either the Rafe Rovers game, I think there was maybe two, you maybe look at or the Queen's Park Scottish Cup game as well, um, we played them, but obviously the Rafe Rovers game and young Charlie Cowie came in, I thought he'd done exceptionally well and it just seemed to galvanise the whole team and we kicked on for there. And as you say, that second half of the season, the real contrast... A lot of positives from that, and no, he just missed out on that. That's what I'm saying. But even the first half of the season, I don't think we were a million miles away. Um, but what we've got to improve on is we can't afford to lose as many cheap goals, um, and that's what we started to do a bit better the second half of the season. We're always going to be a goal threat with the players we had, um, and the main thing for us was making sure we finished the, the season in a positive note. And I think we've done that. There was a lot of good performances again today. Um, well, obviously we're disappointed with the result You wanted to finish as high as you possibly could obviously when fourth went sixth were you? Again? No, it, obviously for us, budget wise it's miles ahead of where we should be um, it's a really challenging league this year um, a lot of competitive teams not much between the teams um, and I think the boys deserve to finish where they finished um, I thought it was a lot of good performances obviously we've got to improve try and improve on that year on year we know it's going to be difficult because every year it seems as over we're starting again so that's going to be the big challenge Tonight was about one man Stephen Dobie oh, he's, a, he's a massive player for the club and uh, it was brilliant to see the, so many fans turn up before the game um, just to obviously show their appreciation for what he's achieved in his time at Queen's. Um, the boys obviously the guard the honour before the, the game as well and it just shows you the respect he's got in the dressing room and how big a player he is. And I think everybody at Queen's just wants to wish him all the best in what he does in the future. He will be a big, big miss. Oh, of course he will be. Um, and we've just got to obviously move on and hopefully we can, we can build on the season we've had and try and get some of the players signed up because there was a lot of good performances this year. What about the future? What does what, what's yeah, the well, imminent future in the long term? We need to start getting players in. We need to start getting players signed. Uh, it's always a challenge at this time of year. I don't think we're probably one of the biggest spending clubs. So to get people to commit early to contracts is always proves well, always proves difficult. Um, but hopefully we can do that because I think a lot of the boys have enjoyed the season. And um, you obviously see as well how important that is to get good loans. And I think we've done that, especially second half of the season. And does that start from now? Well, it's, it's, that definitely starts from now. We need to, the, the season starts again, the 10th of, we start back pre-season the 10th of June. So um, it'll fly in 